So today, you're going to move the pigs into their new home. See right now, they are very much ready to eat. They are all excited. Um, this is going to be a little, uh, a little difficult to do with the camera in my hand. And it's a, it's a little bit of risk that they could just go running off because I'm going to have them completely outside any fencing while they're in transit. Um, but their new area is uh, nice and big and uh, hopefully they'll like it and hopefully it'll be nice and secure, more secure than the one they're in now. Alright, so here goes nothing. Got my bucket of food, got some hungry pigs, and I got a fence that's just about to open up. Okay, come on. Takes them a second to kind of get comfortable with the fact that the fence isn't going to shock them. And once they're out, they should follow me. See, this electric fence is very, very effective, but it takes some time to uh, get comfortable with going beyond where it was. Yeah, no, you're not getting anything in there. <laughs> They're like, put it in here, this is where it goes. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's not gonna shock you. Come get it. Right here. Eat that and know it's food. Oh. That's right. This uh, lighter colored one here is the uh, more dominant of the two. Both males. This is the one that's not castrated. That's why he's uh, kind of looks a little bigger than the other guy. Here we go. Got one out. I just gotta get the other one's attention. See, now they're all distracted with everything else. Should have waited to do this later in the day. Come on, let's go. It's not free forage time. They're having a rough time with that snow. They're starting to get it. Oh, oh, poor things. If you just get to the driveway over here, you'll be out of this mess. I do a lot of hiking. And uh, I can totally sympathize with their uh, plight of falling through the snow. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, don't go over there. It's just like the timid one here is in the lead. I'll give you a little, a little treat. Good job. Here you go. Alright, now you can walk. Come and follow me. Don't get distracted by the fence. You don't need that. You'll have plenty of that where you're going. Come on. Oh, I got this guy trotting right next to me. <laughs> See, once they get moving. Oh, yeah, they not fall in. He's way back there, but he's his brother. He'll come running. See, here he comes. This guy's right here. We're on a little adventure. Yeah, yeah. yeah this guy's leading. <laughs> hey! 
Come on. Stop getting distracted by the garden tools. Come on. Nope. No, nope. you can't allow eat that. No, nope. no. Nope. Hey, in here, in here. Yeah. Hey, hey. Where the heck are you going? Getting close. Inches, inches to your new home, which you'll have free reign of out there. Hey, after the snow melts, you're so close. Come on, just get inside. The, no, you're going the wrong way. Give me a little something right here, right here. Go ahead. You, you just ignoring it? Okay, yep, that's good. Come on in. I need to have some food. Okay, now what the heck? I got you outside. I have no idea why you're out there. Clearly, the entrance is over here. Stay there. Oh, this is gonna get tricky because I'm gonna some in, some out. You are a dumb pig, you know that? Food's over here. I'm still eating, thank goodness. Your, your brother is up here. Come and eat with him. This guy refuses to go through the gate. So, I quickly set up a little trap here. Um, thank goodness I had some extra paneling. You can see here, there's a panel, and there's the main fence over there. There's the gate and another panel. So once I can get that pig into this area, I'm gonna close, he, sees, he knows something's going on. I'm gonna close him in. Why is he on the other side? I should have had this set up before. I feel like the, uh, he's gotten to the point where he's so curious about everything else and he's been um, foraging. So I kind of fear that he's satiated himself enough. Fortunately, Pigs are not loners, so he's not going to go off by himself without his brother or me. Ah, oh, I managed to do it, thank goodness. Um, so now we're kind of trapped in this little cave here. I'm going to open up the door. Uh, now that we're all in, everything should be secure and nobody should be able to get out once he's done with that. We should to come and explore and uh, yeah that should that should be that and now I'll, I'll leave this cage up I might actually make it a little bigger in order to get the girls in because I'm gonna have to get all four of them in the holding area so I can let them in without allowing these guys to escape so that'll be interesting so that actually worked really really well um, way better than I expected he finished the pile is still a few scraps here um, but uh, after that, he just tried to back out because he was afraid of that gate. They don't like enclosed spaces. Um, so he tried to back out really hard against the fence right here. So here goes round two. Um, it's been a little, took a while to do that. Uh, so this is, uh, now the girls here here. And they're a little hungry at this point, which is good because they typically tend to be a little more timid. Um, and I gotta, figure out how I'm going to get them to the other spot. Um, so yeah, this will be, uh, hopefully go a little smoother because now we have that little portcullis set up that worked really, really well. Um, I think here's a good spot. 
Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this will go well. The trick is there's more of them, so there's more of a chance for them to get split up. So we'll see what happens. So these ones are a little easier to get out, except, just as I thought, one's hanging out inside. So I'm gonna get these three, hopefully, to the area, lock them in, and then uh, come back for the other one. The other one should either stay put in this house, I hope, or um, try to follow. But so far they're coming along single file. This is good. Okay, hopefully this works. So the, the fourth one actually ended up following after her siblings left. Now we have this problem where we got these pigs here, we got these ones here, and they don't know each other. So I have no idea, this is a complete first, as to what's going to happen. Let's look right now there. Found a little watering hole there, drinking out of. Um, so I think it's just going to be a slow and steady process. That did not go anywhere near as well as I hoped. I had three of them in there, and I got greedy. I was waiting for the fourth one to get in. And then two of them went out. So I got one that's like in, in. I got the, the trap open again. These guys are, these guys are getting to know each other. She's just definitely afraid. Um, but now, I gotta convince these guys to get back in there. Okay, wow. Um, so things are starting to calm down a little bit. This is a pretty intense uh, activity. Um, I should have uh, kept the girls in this little holding area for a while, I think, and let them sniff each other before opening the door. I think that was a mistake. Um, but anyway, I got five in there now, uh, and there's a total of six pigs. There's one that's kind of like wandering around the perimeter. Fortunately, at this point, since there's only one outside, there's, it's, it's pretty much no way that that one's gonna run away because they're pack animals. Um, they do not like to be alone. In fact, uh, in this whole, oh, I can see it right now. In this whole um, mess of trying to get them in here, I actually walked one of them back to its, uh, to its home because I was gonna abandon process and try again another way or something um, fortunately it seems like everybody's starting to calm down um, that one that was in there you know was it's kind of playing with the other with the boys um, that you know they got to establish dominance and all this other stuff so uh, things are calming down a bit and uh, she actually wandered back I, I locked her in but it doesn't matter these these pigs will get out of anything that they, they want to um, they actually had flipped I put this post in here, just real quick, because they had flipped this up to climb under it. That was one of the terrible things that happened in the past, however long it's been. <laughs> so, uh, I see that pig's coming around now. Um, so I might be able to get them all in soon, which will be good. And then, uh, and then I can just tighten things up and, and relax a little bit. So, uh, this is actually quite interesting. So you see that, that mounting going on over there? It's a little hard to see from this distance, but I believe that is a girl mounting a boy. And it's a totally a dominance thing. Um, oh, yeah, see, now they're combating again. And this is going to kind of continue until they establish their pecking order. Um, so this, will, uh, this, this is going to be quite the... Uh, little social experiment to see here how this works out but everybody's everybody is now in thank god and things are calming down a bit they're all just foraging around i gotta give them uh, i'm gonna give them some food but i'm just sort of letting them relax i also gotta bring in some water um but yeah this is whoo thank goodness it's all uh it's all done <laughs> They are all eating happy together. Looks like a couple of the girls have wandered away, but they all seem to be getting along. For the most part, still a little pushing. <laughs> 